Hi everyone. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on this um, double stacked two inch ribbon boutique bow. I call it a double bubble in my store. So let's go ahead and get started. I know a lot of you have been asking me how to do this bow. So basically it is your top bow, your boutique. It's 35 inches of two inch ribbon. Here it is cut. And the bottom pinwheel, I normally don't measure it, but I'm gonna say it's a yard. It's probably a little less. It's cause I do mine by hand, so I don't really measure it. So this is your top boutique bow. It is cut at 35 inches and it is heat sealed. I fold it in half and put a clip at the end to give it a crease. Sorry, I haven't done tutorials in so long, I get all nervous. Um, we're gonna go ahead and be using some Add Tech Crafters Tape Permanent, your lighter, your clips. I use zip ties, your scissors, some pliers to pull the zip tie, um, and that's what you're gonna be needing. So this is what your bow's gonna look like once we're done. It doesn't have the clip or anything on it yet. Okay, so here's your 35 inches of two inch ribbon. We're gonna go ahead and start. You're gonna go ahead and take it. You're gonna open it up and here's your middle line. I don't know if you can see it since uh, it's on the tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a line. You don't draw a line, you don't need to, but this is just so you can see it. Now we're gonna go ahead and use this crafter's tape. This is just, so many of y'all say that you have so many problems with it staying while you're doing the crease with one loop being bigger than the other. This crafter's tape is just gonna hold it for you in place so you don't have to worry. And I take it and I just add a few and I leave a gap. See, this finger gap is what's there. You're gonna go ahead and bring one end over and you're gonna go ahead and put it right there just to leave that gap. So the tape is actually holding it in place. Now you're gonna do the same thing to the other side, but the gap, of course, is on the top. We're gonna go ahead and bring it over and you're gonna leave the same amount of gap now here you have your figure eight. Look how cute that is, look at that. Now, to make it easier for you, since you're learning how to do this beautiful bow, I fold it in half to create these little ears. So this is what it looked like before. You're just gonna go ahead and fold it in half. You're gonna bring it down. Here's your ears. You're gonna go ahead and put a clip on the ears just so that it gives you the little line, your crease line. So this is what it looks like. I usually make a whole bunch of these ahead of time like this. And then when I'm ready, I just take off the clips and away we go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the line just so you could see it, just because we're doing the tutorial, but normally I don't draw the line. Now, it should be straight, sorry. Um, I, I don't color very well, if y'all ever see my eyeliner. Okay, so here's the line. Now here's your creases here. You can't really see it and here. I'm not gonna draw on this, but you take your first crease and you line it directly on that line, leaving a space on both sides. You're gonna go ahead and do it the same to the other side and you're gonna bring it right over on the top. Here's your back side. This is your back side of your bow. You're gonna go ahead and flip it around and this is your front side. You're gonna go ahead and crease here. I love to crease and there's your bow. Now I use zip ties. It's just so much easier. You can get them at Dollar Tree, Walmart, almost anywhere. I use the small thin ones. I think they're the four millimeter um, just because you don't, you can't really tell. Now see this is what your bow looks like. Look how ugly that looks. It's all right. I didn't tighten it on the way. We'll do that last. Now we're going to go ahead and take our middle fingers, push this down at the same time, bringing your other loops up. Look how cute that is. Now, if you want it to look even cuter, you could have double lined it like orange or, I mean, pink, yellow on the bottom. But look how cute that is. Now, since I like the way the bow looks, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the zip tie and cut it. These are gross scissors, like that's what I use it for, just to cut the zip ties. And look at your bow, look how cute that is. Okay, this is what I call my bubble bow. Now these, this is a hard tutorial for me to do on a pinwheel since I do mine by hand. I have a hard time showing somebody how to do it. My anxiety takes over. So like I said, I normally do it by hand so I don't really know the length. It might be less than a yard. So you're gonna take one end and you're gonna bring a loop over 
bring another loop under, bring this one over. Jesus, I get so nervous doing this bow. And then this one up. Now, since I eyeball it, see how much ribbon I have left? I, obviously I did it too. I eyeball it to see if I'm gonna like it on there. I, that's the way I do my pinwheels. It's been a long time since I've done any sort of um, template for them. Then I just fold it over the middle without letting it go just to give myself the crease of where that middle is. And then I'm gonna bring it up, turn it around, and then I'm gonna start my crease from where I folded the line. There's so much better ways to do this one. Where's my zip ties? Zip ties, where are you? Um, you can. There's so many um, free templates that you can print out to make this out of cardboard. When I did start making these, I used um, plastic from the notebook. The front, you know those old notebook spirals that had those plastics, that's what I used. So, see I get all nervous that I even put it on the wrong spot. So I need to move it over a little before I tighten it. There it is, right in the middle. I hate that it, these, it throws my anxiety when they're not perfect like this, but it is what it is and I need to get over it. It's gonna look great once you put the bow on top of it. So here it is, we're gonna go ahead and tighten it. Like I said, I normally do these by hand and I don't have a good measurement for you all, but Everybody's asking me because I posted the double blah, blah, blow. And heat seal those ends, do the V cut. This one could have been done a little longer on this side. And I'm telling you, I get real nervous doing this bow because it throws my anxiety off because I want it to look different. If you use templates, it'll be so much easier. And then you just glue the top and you're gonna get this cute little bow. There it is. Boom, and you just add the clip, the center, your 3 8 the clip, and whatever you're putting in the middle, and away you go. Double bubble. Thanks for watching my tutorial.